How you going, ladies and gents? You're very welcome to episode 9 of The Lot. Uh, episode 9, is it? That went past quickly. I know, it's unreal. Yeah. We're hitting double digits next week. So uh, we hope you're all uh, tuning in at home. Uh, hopefully musicians as well have got their, their instruments out and ready to go. We have got a whopper show lined up for you tonight. Uh, for anyone who hasn't uh, uh, checked us out before, we always try and warm everybody up with a little bit of a camellia. So here's a great old uh, drinking song from the Dubliners called Homeboy's Home. And it's in G for anyone playing along at home. At Homeboy's Home. And it goes like this. Well, the saying or not saying along the way. They gave the goodwill of his captain's good name. He came to show me the part to be. I'm at the beginning of my own to love me and his home boys. Home, home, I'd like to be home for a while in me own country. Where the oak and the ash and the bunny bunny. Caroline on the controls here and uh, send all complaints uh, to Caroline if you can. Um, but uh, not pass them on to us, you'll absorb them all yourself. <laughs> yeah. Now she might. So I think it's time to introduce our, our guest then. What do you reckon? So we're going to give you a little clue. How about this one? Um, we have another guest in studio tonight and her name is Marianne. Ooh, I wonder, oh, I wonder who the guest could be. Well, um, I want to win that car. <laughs> yeah, so I think without further ado, we are going to introduce our guest for this evening, uh, a, a wonderful musician, a stalwart of the uh, Irish music scene and uh, in Perth here. 
and we are just uh, so delighted to, uh, to, to have him here today. So we're just going to get him yoked up here. Just give us one second, ladies and gents. So uh, anyone who hangs around the Irish club, um, uh, particularly on a Monday night, is going to see this man's face. And, and uh, Bonnie. And who? <laughs> and the rest of him as well. Oh. I, I don't just say these faces. I thought you said and Bonnie as in Annie Vaughan. Oh, yes, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And it is, of course, Brendan. Hey, Brendan Doherty, ladies and gents. <laughs> Woo! Uh, fantabulous banjo player, uh, guitar player, whistle player, and piper, and basically anything at all, you can, uh, you can, you can give it a lash. How are you this evening, Brendan? Very well, thanks. Thank you so much for coming on here. Thanks for the invite. Our, our, our second guest to have on the show here, so this is this is very exciting. So uh, we have got uh, just an amazing amount of tunes to get through here. Um, so we're just going to plough into it. Uh, just so any, if anybody uh, wants to have a chat to Brenda afterwards, we're doing a little bit of chat through, but we really want to keep the tunes rolling. So, um, but afterwards we're going to do a little bit of a, a kind of a chat in Ben's kitchen. Um, and for anyone who wants to have a chat. But for now we're going to rip into some reels, is it Ben? That's right. Yeah. Okay, so we've got uh, a couple of reels here. Uh, the first one's called the Cameronian, we're doing that one in D. And then Fox Hunters, uh, it, which sometimes will be done in G. We're going to do it up in A there for a bit of purchase. For the fiddlers, yeah. <laughs> for the fiddlers like this, do oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so we're going to follow you on this one, Brendan, so uh, in your own time there. together they set this I'm like yeah that, that could have been a good ending to the tune yeah oh like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just right up there one, yeah. that's great yeah, that's great love for Brendan coming in on the, on the oh, Facebook page brilliant stuff oh, cheers nice one thanks very much nice uh, like, like I said we'll have a chat hopefully afterwards we'll be, be able to if, if people stick around for the broadcast after we finish here so that's great you warm now yeah yeah warmed up uh, I don't know about those pipes though, we'll have to warm them up again, yeah, yeah, so yeah. a little bit of treat later on the programme, uh, Brendan is going to be pulling out his Illin pipes and that'll be after the intermission that we take in the middle here. So um, this next set of uh, tunes, a set of jigs, uh, but we were chatting about it earlier, Ben learned these off one of the Kyoto CDs and uh, when he heard them he was kind of like, oh they, they sound really party to me. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Well, I mean that was when, when I was first starting to learn tunes and since then I've learned heaps more tunes and I was like, well, 
to be fair, like for, for an outsider, they all sound piratey, you know? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, but anyway, so when I, when I first learned this, I called it the pirate set. But uh, this is um, Ward's jig and uh, the Blarney Pilgrim and Cook in the Kitchen. Yeah. No worries. All right, well, uh, all, all aboard, my mateys. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> all right. It's a bit of a tradition, Brendan, uh, when we get guests on the show. Actually, not every last show, we've had uh, some kind of confection 
uh, to be able to enjoy. And, uh, <laughs> like snack. Yeah, we're, we're actually we're just hunting for a sponsor. So Cadbury, if you're watching, <laughs> well, normally we just go to play in biscuit, but we've got like a local hero of the Irish music scene here. So we got we went with the heroes, heroes. you know. Oh, very good. So, yeah. <laughs> ben was looking at them. He's like, are they basically just an Irish version of uh, favourites? Yeah. I was like, yeah, but just some different favourites in there. Uh, uh, yeah, all the heroes. And, it's probably yeah. just full of whiskey, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> don't look in there. I hope it holds for the show. I don't know if it's water tight. All right, so uh, we're going to try a wee song. So I'm going to. Um, so this is a this is an old song um, called the Foggy Jew. So if you're playing along at home, uh, it's in uh, it's in D minor. Why did I take the cap off this? It's in uh, D minor. So I guess um, you'll find whistle players will find it on C, will they? Yep. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll give this oh, yeah, well, yeah. If, you, if you're really game, you can try it on a D, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's a half all in. All right. Just going to tune here. Just going to crack. Come on, Ben.
the old funky juke. Won't be like that one. Woo! Nice. Yeah, it's great playing that. It's lovely to hear the, like the, the family of uh, instruments. Yeah, I actually cool. only realised that way through. They're, they're, they're all in the same family. Yeah. Look at this. Mandolin, octave, mandola. Like, this is totally a Goldilocks scenario, isn't it? <laughs> 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 they're medieval just, look, yeah. Yeah, I imagine it was kind of a medieval sound as well. Mm. But we'll, we'll find out when we listen back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great stuff. Yeah, all right, all right, so uh, more reels. This, yeah. this is one of your sets you put together, Ben. Was it her? <laughs> yeah. I think we, we did a version of this with Dunnock yeah, um, yeah, yeah. a few months ago. Well, right. a good few months ago now. This is another George. pair of tunes that I can never decide. Well, there's three tunes, but um, the first two, I can never decide which way to put round, you know? Yeah. Because they it, kind of work both it's, ways. It's similar to if anyone was watching uh, when we played with um, Dipner, we played the Cash at Morrison's. And That's right. Every time I finish Morrison's, I want to play the Cash. And every time I finish the Cash, I want to play Morrison's. So are we in danger of getting into another loop here tonight? Oh, all, all sorts of danger. We'll yeah. be here for an hour. <laughs> let's, let's get into it. Yeah. So we're going to do we're going to do Kitty's first. So the first one is um, is Kitty Gonna Milken uh, in G. And then we're going into the Maids of Man Cisco, which is in A minor. And then we've got uh, finish up with the Mary Blacksmith in D. So that's the plan, anyways. Yeah, <laughs> see how we go.
a bit of a country ending there by accident. <laughs> okay, I'm sure I can be forgiven, yeah, one, given that I come from the country, yes. boots wise. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I thought there'd be a fine pair of Timberlands there. Country and Western. Yeah, no, in country or Western. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I so do both, but not at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were putting together the, the, the set this week, and uh, we were kind of like, oh, there's a lot of curly tunes in this one. And here's, uh, th this is uh, another great example of it. Oh, uh, yeah. So obviously that pirate set is very curly. There's a bit, bit, bits of Mixolydian mixed in with uh, regular and... Yeah. Uh, uh, so this, uh, this, this choose tune. your own adventure. Yeah, yes. it's like do you play C mm. or C sharp? Who cares? Well, these, these, are, these are a couple of jigs, and um, I think we, we kind of said we were going to do them three times around because um, uh, they'd be. You, you, well, for a start, they're just lovely, but yeah, they're yeah. lovely. Yeah, but you were, I was asking Brendan beforehand if they're well known, and they, I, I guess uh, a, a great answer. They're well known in certain parts. Do you mm. know what I mean? But uh, so um, yeah, the first one is called uh, Collier's Jig. And that's in D Mixolydian kind you're of saying sort of Sligo region, is that right? Yeah, kind of. Well, the timpani bit is a, is a, a Sligo timpani bit, whereas the Colliers yeah. oh, sorry, is, yeah, yeah. The Colliers is, is, is a fairly it's old. It's an old tune, but it's kind of not always played all the time, so Great. it sort of comes in and out of, out of fashion, I guess, like yeah. a lot of tunes. Yeah. Well, that's an awesome reason to play it. So yeah. Colliers followed by um, the, uh, the timpani bit. The Sligo Tenpenny bit. Um, we'll give these a lash here for you. Um, so hopefully, if you don't know them, just give, give, them, a, give them a rattle there and uh, you might surprise yourself by the third time around. All right. Well. I'm grateful for the three times through because I, like, oh. I just heard them in the last couple of days and last night I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. But that's after we've been playing them for three hours or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I totally lost count. Oh, oh yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, feel, I feel like that was three and three. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice one. Nailed it. <laughs> well, you're counting at home if we're, if we're wrong. Uh, please. Please let Caroline know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline's like, no. <laughs> I've got enough problems here as it is. <laughs> Um, so, uh, 
Oh, all right, we've got a, we've got a lovely one here. Um, so we we're uh, obviously kind of showcasing the kind of stuff that that, that Brendan can do here. Um, and he's a, a fabulous guitar player, um, as well as as everything else. And he's put together a beautiful arrangement of um, a tune that's played a lot at the sessions. It's Is this a, your arrangement? I guess so. I mean, it's. It's my arrangement on the guitar. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah it's, 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 it's the same really tune. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the tune, you'll recognise the tune here. It's a slip jig uh, called The Butterfly, but I, I, I'd say be hard-pressed to ever hear it like this. So, um, and it's a lovely one. It's really worth learning like uh, for, for anybody sort of starting out. It's actually a really, really nice tune, but it's quite easy to play on most instruments, comparatively, I guess, to the last couple of ones. Yeah, it's just a really, really just... Yeah. Probably need to just get get the familiar with the, the slip jig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that's what catches people. Yeah, yeah. nice one. All right, all right. And on that note. Sharing that. No worries. That's uh, great. It's, it's, it's great to hear something uh, coming from me and Derek that's actually a little subtle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it's really nice to play it in someone else's lounge room. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. So from the unsubtle, uh, sorry, to the subtle to the unsubtle here. <laughs> oh, I'm right here. Once again, well programmed, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, 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 we're building towards uh, an experiment that uh, has, has never been tried, at, at least in this lounge room. I'm anyways. sure it has, but it was outlawed. <laughs> <laughs> so in order to warm you into that, um, as I said earlier on the programme, we we're heading towards an intermission in, uh, in about 10 minutes. Um, and the purpose of that is to get the Illin pipes uh, warmed up um, they are a, a feat of engineering and take a little bit of uh, caressing and a, bit, and a bit of wind and uh, so <laughs> it sounds like uh, yeah, yeah. anyway no galore but yeah. anyway next we like continue as we are <laughs> 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 um, so, so yeah we, we will be taking a short break uh, in, in a couple of tunes time uh, but in the meantime we're going to do a little bit of a song here a bit of a camellia this one is called The Leaving of Liverpool and it's in D for people playing along at home
for another set of tunes before we take our brief intermission uh, and then we're going to come back then with uh, some wonderful pipe tunes so definitely worth sticking around uh, if you've never seen the Ellen Pipes before it's uh, yeah it's 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 it's, it's awesome so uh, we can't wait to get them fired up so please stick around with us uh, we're going to have some nice interval music as well but before we leave here we've got to do some polkas and um, we had the opportunity to uh, to get the three banjos going at once. So yeah, well, I asked. I asked. I asked, I asked, I asked Brendan, decided. But I guess with Brennan's involvement in the cultists, I asked him to uh, to like yeah, you know, like, let's think of a good set that yeah you know, would be just be a classic like set that you'd play mm. uh, up up in the uh, in the Rose Room, you know, mm. in, at the Irish Club, and um and then so he said, yeah, I was thinking of polkas, and he gave us gave us this set, and me and Derek like. What can we do to to, to, uh, to subvert those? To, to derail this set. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's great. So this set, it's going to be, um, we're starting off with the Tour de Moor, and then we're going to go into the Mage Barada, and then finish up with the Bally Horny. So, um, yeah, this is some polkas. And then we're going to shoot to an intermission after that. So uh, enjoy these, if you can. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't, we'll be back with more. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, we hope you enjoyed those polkas. So, ladies and gents, we're going to take a very quick uh, intermission now. So, uh, now's the time to boil the kettle or uh, uh, grab, whatever, the cat. Yeah, <laughs> grab whatever your fancy is. And uh, we're going to put on a little bit of interval music here. And we're going to get the Ellen Pipes tuned up. And we'll be back in a few minutes with more wonderful tunes with, uh, with Brendan here. So, we'll see you soon.
Ladies and gents, thank you for sticking around with us. Um, we just uh, uh, got the, got the pipes up and going there, and uh, gave them a bit of a blast. Uh, so um, yeah, we're going to I guess kick straight into uh, a little bit of an air here. Uh, the name of this one, uh, Fama Vorha. What's what's that about? I think it's it's I think it's actually a song, and it's basically someone sort of lamenting okay. the worries of the world or their regrets in life. Nice one, nice. It's a really cheery, That's my favorite really, things to it's a very lament. cheery song. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, we are going to cheer it up at the end with with a bit of a jig as well. So, um, yes, yeah, so this is called the Fa Fama Borja, and then afterwards we're going to do the Calavel jig, or as the Americans would call it, the Kilaville jig. Kilaville. <laughs> All right, take it away, friend. <laughs>
<laughs> Lovely stuff. Man, that is unbelievable. So uh, I'm sure there, there must be a, a, a couple of people kind of scratching their heads as to how does this thing work? <laughs> so many buttons and so few fingers. Oh, it's, it's oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So obviously th 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 this thing is pumping into into this one, which is then pumping down into these boys and that fella there. <laughs> so yeah, actually, I mean, this is something we, we it, it, like as, as much as we want to get through the tunes here, this is something we're not going to be able to explain in the after show. So for the people that don't know, could you show them the whole flow of the... Uh, oh, okay. So obviously the air comes from the bellows, which is different than from the Highland pipes where you might blow into it. Yeah. Right. So the air comes across into the bag, and the bag basically feeds this main stock. But you, and, you, and you use your left arm to feed that through? Yeah, so this the left arm is just to keep the right pressure with the bag. Yeah. Um, so that's your mouth, essentially. Kind of like on the whistle, I suppose, yeah. if you're like, if you, it's, it's, um, maintaining pressure and flow, I suppose. Um, obviously, chanter comes into, into here. Right. And off the stock, you've got three drones, which is what you'd have typically on a on a Highland pipe or Scottish small pipes and you've also got three regulators which is like three chances except that you play them with your hand yes um, on the side there okay. um, so, so I guess are. you imagine a flute like you're playing like like, but you've got like three extra spare ones of those, <laughs> which you can play just in case. Which you can play with your spare fingers, which you have none. So yeah. you said you have to use your wrist. So, so just in case you get a little bit bored. <laughs> like, yeah. would, you, would you give us a blast of each of the tubes? Oh, okay, you can try. It's just, it's just, it's just for people that don't understand what's going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is a lot going on, isn't it? <laughs> I've only had the set, man. this full set, for a couple of months, so I'm still yeah. familiarising myself with Who the Who made them plane. for you, Brendan? Uh, there's a guy called Nicholas Garnier. He lives. He's in France, in France, yeah. in, uh, in uh, Marseille. Deadly. So um, yeah, I, I got onto him through another piper in. Kerry Piper, who lives in Sligo, called Leonard Barry, and he sort of suggested him. He's not that well known. Yeah. He's very well known amongst people in the know, if you like. Right. Yeah. So, yeah but yeah. he does make a very nice set of pipes. And it's an amazing yeah. hybrid of uh, fabrics and woods and tubes and brass and. Yeah. Uh, you the know. craftsmanship is off the charts. Oh, so. yeah, 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 yeah. That was beautiful. I really yeah. enjoy that. Thank you for that. All right. So we're going to do a couple more pipe tunes here. We've got some uh, kind of horn pipe or a real. Uh, they're all kind of kind of. It's kind of a. Flip. I think. Kind of a fling. Yeah, okay, all right, okay. The flingy thing. This is written by someone that was one of the uh, a junior, someone or other. Apparently, he was involved in the junior right. Cohen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right at the start of the cultists, like he was. Okay. He, he got in there and uh, Claire. Yeah. Deadly. Okay. When it was like the new thing. Yeah. So, the, so the first, the tune you're talking about is called uh, "Long Golden Hair Hanging Down Her Back," and that's indeed. Is that the longest tune name that we have? Oh, it must know. be. Yeah. Ladies uh, wise. Uh, and then we've got the uh, the Morning Star then. In, in G after that one. So, um, yeah, we'll give it a blast here. <laughs>
be played. That is so great, man. Awesome. Awesome stuff. So uh, we, we should probably do a couple of announcements now because we're coming near the tail end of the show. Um, I guess... 50% off cheeseburgers tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> In all outlets. <laughs> Um, uh, Brendan, did you, did you uh, obviously you're associated with the cultists? Have you yeah. got anything to, to let people know? <laughs> so we um, we had to close down with the whole COVID thing, and yeah. um, the Irish Club is actually opening up on Friday. They got a big um, reopening party, and I think there's a mm. session going on as well. So yeah, Kieran's heading that up. Is it Kieran yeah, Sullivan? Kieran yeah. Sullivan is is just sort of uh, running that. Um, but on Monday they've said. They like golfers to, to come back, so Great. we'll be kicking off back with classes from seven, and then the session. Um, so it'll just be rock up, and then there may be some restrictions in terms of different numbers and different rooms, but essentially everyone's welcome to to head back on in. Yeah, well, we, we've been here. getting a, like a few inquiries, people like uh, watching the show and uh, like keen to get into playing tunes. So um, that'd be the place to go. Yeah, yeah like at least yeah. you know, come down and have a look and. Um, yeah, you know, like if you haven't played at all, go and have a look. I suppose I don't know. Well, you you've works, had a couple yeah. of students, Ben, that that's uh, like you're teaching banjo too and and, and various yeah. things. And you know, obviously you're, you're trying to get into a level where they can go in there and 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 just. But but you can go in and just observe and see what's happening. So for anyone that doesn't know, the cultus is the, obviously the uh, essentially the, the school side of of uh, amongst other things. Obviously, they're, they're the keepers of the tradition, but there's the language, there's the dancing, but there's also a massive focus on, on the uh, on the music, you know, mm. and these these tunes, like we were saying earlier, that the the jig that we play that is so old that like some some of these some of these tunes were losing them, you know, so the cultists were put together to keep these tunes from from disappearing basically with the, with the last lad who knew how to play them so if you wanted to uh, have a look and 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 see there's 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 great tuition there and different oh, you cater for all different levels as well don't you yeah so there's a beginner's class uh which my dad sean normally runs and you can basically from close to absolute beginners um and then there's generally another session slow session in the other room yeah every fortnight and then there's a main session sort of from like 30 onwards great stuff yeah. well folks make sure you get down to the Irish Club and, and support them the grand reopening on Friday like we said um, with Kieran there there's going to be Irish music kind of throughout the night they're opening up their doors at 5 o'clock and uh, there's, it's, it's going to be a great night in there so make sure you, you get in and, 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 and support the club and then Mon uh, from, from the following Monday then there's going to be regular Coltis classes there on um, on Mondays, so check those out if you want to find out more about music and uh, the Irish music and come up and chat to Brendan there and uh, yeah he'll set he'll, uh, he'll he'll set you straight. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to uh, we're going to do a couple of reels by another Irish name there. Chompel on Glanton. I feel like I, I should say these uh, Irish <laughs> names. Here. Well, that, well, that was the thing. And like uh, yeah, uh, uh, me and Brendan were playing the other day, and uh, I was like uh, yeah. I know these tunes, like, uh, like uh, I learned them off, um, off this album with Mick O'Brien playing and uh, Brendan's like, I learned it from Mick O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. So I was like, you yeah, have me, no, you have me. No, 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 no wonder I recognise it, yeah. Right. Deadly. So the first one is uh, Champlain on Glanthorn in D Mixolydian, how's it going? And then the, uh, the the second one we're going to do is the Silver Spear, uh, and that's that's a great that's probably like one of those kind of introductory tunes that if somebody came along you'd probably get them to get it underneath the belt L like you were saying with After the Blackbird for your polkas yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's an, it's another good tune that just seems to fall under the fingers so um, uh, we will give these a lash for you here uh, a couple of reels coming up here we go. <laughs>
you got to be happy with that. <laughs> that was awesome. You might finish off. Yeah. That was great. Oh, good stuff. So, ladies and gents, I want to. I, I just. I hope you enjoyed our guest here today. Let's have a round of applause for Ben and Doherty. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Me and Ben were like, I wonder if we could get Brendan to come in and do one of the shows. <laughs> <laughs> Play any one of our ten guitars. <laughs> yeah. How many string instruments are in this room? I think there's one, two, three, three four. four. But you're holding one. Oh, five, 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 six, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And how, how many tubes? One, <laughs> two, three, dozens four. and dozens. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's great fun. We hope you enjoyed the show this evening. So once we finish, we're just going to take a second to uh, grab a cup of tea and see a man about a dog, and then we're going to come back on with the with the after show. We're going to have a chat to Brendan and any questions or any love you want to send his way, um, uh, or complaints. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So so please jump on and, and have a chat, and we'll be answering questions and whatever you want to. You, you want to uh, hear about there i want to say a big shout out to caroline here who's been uh, handling all of the, the stuff there and uh and marianne as well for coming in our studio audience <laughs> <laughs> the clapping machines <laughs> don't forget ladies and gents the irish Globe opens up on friday and kieran o'sullivan has got some great music planned throughout the night there from five o'clock and then Coltis is starting up again uh, on the following Monday. Uh, first classes are at seven. Seven. seven awesome. But but I think they open their doors from five. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Get Coming in there, early. spend some money, uh, have a couple of pints. Uh, tell him, uh, tell him Brendan sent you. <laughs> <laughs> play a poker or two. Yeah. Yeah. So we asked uh, we asked Brendan if he play a song with us uh, on the pipes. Uh, so we uh, famously <laughs> ran out of time to rehearse this. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This is actually the first time we played this together. I was like, uh, Derek, Derek mm -hmm. talked to me in the hall. He's like, uh, we gotta like. Uh, how are we gonna start? How are we gonna one? start this? Like, uh, should we start how we normally start? And I was like, I have no idea. Like. Uh, like we we're both both at different things, you know, trying to work out, yeah, we'll just get this thing on the road. And so our plan is we've got no plan. Alright, here we go. Uh, so this should be a bit of crack. We're in G here for this one, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for watching. That was episode nine of the month. We'll see you next week for some more uh, trap music.
much, Brendan. Uh, we are going to take a, a 